Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to get a quick tutorial out to help you guys. I believe this video will really help folks. I've got a lot to learn about this Harrier. I'm gonna get right to the point as usual. The first thing I want you guys to do is go to your control options like I'm doing right now. I want you to go to power management, propeller, and then increase propeller and decrease propeller pitch. Button map them how you will. It's a very important and makes this a lot easier to do the hovering, at least from the takeoff standpoint and for flying. As you can see, I'm moving the nozzles now. The nozzles are moving with that pitch that I just set up. So I don't have to go inside the cockpit and do that. Very important. This, this plane is extremely difficult, guys. I really am loving it so far. It's an awesome addition. It's extremely difficult, though. Uh, this is the cockpit lever, just for folks that are new uh, and need uh, the basic information. It's also got uh, chocks and a uh, covers, but the chocks don't work yet. I don't know what's going on with those. Uh, I've clicked them a couple times. Um, if you're not going to do the propeller, like I just showed you, that's the nozzle right there. If you want to manually do it from in this, inside the uh, inside the cockpit, and then your flaps. I'm leaving my flaps on auto, but you can also push them down. I always have my uh, my uh, flaps button mapped as well. So as you can see, the back, when you're hovering, the flaps need to be all the way down when you're hovering. So as you can see, I've got the nozzle down. I'm just going to increase throttle, and I'm going to start hovering right away. So it's really, really cool. Uh, again, flaps are all the way down in the back when you hover. I, like I said, from my experience, I just leave them on auto, and it knows what to do. But if, if they're not going down, just press down on the flaps. And then you're going to want to just basically just increase the nozzle or decrease accordingly you don't want to just put it straight or you'll fall out of the sky like you see i did it almost a little too early right now i, I did save it look at that got close actually ended up looking cool but you'll want to move the nozzles as uh horizontal as you can but slowly not just horizontal right out you get up right after you get outside the hover this this plane is nothing like the f-35b for those that are familiar with that it's much, much diffi more difficult. That's what's going to be so rewarding when we all learn how to do this. It's not easy, guys. I'm telling you right now, man. I've, it took a long time for me to even get to this point. Pinpoint landing, th th this makes the helicopter look like an amateur hour. This is going to be hard to pinpoint land. Uh, I look forward to learning how to do it. I'm not there yet, guys. Now, I'm going to land this plane now and uh, basically just kind of halfway hover it into STOVL, if you will, and land it like that. Uh, but pinpoint landing, I'm not there yet. I got to admit, that's that's hard. I've, I, and I did try a lot of times tonight. I it, that, that is a difficult process because you have to move this nozzle accordingly. You can't just put it like flat into hover mode or anything like that. You have to move in and learn how to do it. So as you can see, I'm just going to sort of land, not necessarily regular right now. I still have it. Uh, my nozzle's pitched. Uh, but it's more of a standard landing here versus like a straight up hover up and down uh, And next I'm gonna just take off normal for you guys so you guys can see how it looks But overall, I hope this helps so far. This is just what I've learned and uh, it's gonna be a really really good plane guys Enjoy the flying if you like this video, please subscribe and I look forward to making new videos We're gonna be able to do a lot of stuff with this guys. It's gonna be a fun uh, fun experience any questions, leave me in the comments below. Later.